Oh, hey there, Mom. You're spiky like my mom, but I don't think you're my mom. I just miss my mommy. What is this? Good mothers are hard to find, and I love you from the bottom of my heart to the end of my coat. Happy Mother's Day. <gasps> Wait, but did he ever wow. find his mom? No, that's yeah. so sad. Happy Monday. Um, Becky and I are both just running errands today, or at least for right now. We're gonna be filming later. But I just got to Ikea, and I'm hungry, which means I get Ikea lunch, I guess. But I was driving here, and I had a question for you guys. Like, I was driving, and then like some dudes in a truck like honked, and I looked over. Like, the one guy was like, and it was kind of like he knew me, and then I was just like, I don't think I know that guy. And I feel like this happens a lot to me where it's like you know if I knew that I didn't know them I'd be like whatever leave me alone but I'm kind of just like I feel bad now like do I actually know that person like a little while ago somebody came up to me and they just like caressed my face and I was like hi because like I thought I knew them and it was like a total stranger like I realized that after like a couple seconds but you know what I mean like if I knew it was a stranger I would have been like what the f like no but because I was like, do I know this person? I just like have to rack my brain. And then I'm just like trying to like be nice for a second while I figure out if I know this person. Does this happen to you? If people like say hi or like honk you at the street, are you nice first or do you just ignore them? Like also I was walking like in Toronto and some guy was like, hey, do you know where a coffee shop is? And I thought they were just like trying to talk to me, but then I realized that they might just want a coffee shop. And I was like, no, I don't know. And I kept walking and like, I don't know. I feel like just now I'm so pessimistic about like people talking to me. Just cause like, sometimes they just wanna talk to you to like get attention. Anyways, let's go get Ikea lunch. What's up guys, it is Tuesday. Kind of just working on some DIYs. I may have cut the pieces wrong. So it may be taking a little bit longer than it should. And we're also just like figuring it out as we go. So it's taking a little while. And these are actually DIYs for Letitia. If you guys know who Letitia is, she's a friend from Toronto and Tro Toronto, whoa. I hate it when I say Toronto like a tourist. <laughs> Toronto. So we're actually making some DIYs for her bedroom because she's doing a bedroom makeover. So it's kind of like a collab. And we just got a package from Airbnb. If you guys don't know, we use Airbnb like all the time when we travel. And it was so weird. Last time we traveled, they like reached out to us and they're like, we wanna send you a package. And the package just came and I'm sorry, but I already unboxed it. <laughs> the excitement was real. And I just like didn't know what was happening. This was cute. Some Airbnb wrapping paper. But yeah, it's like a throw and like all these pins and keychain and stuff. And it's a little stool that I half built. But I'm actually low key really excited. It came with a mallet, because we actually need a mallet. We only have a hammer. Oh, and this little tote is so cute too. Oh yeah, and when they sent us a message, like it seemed like it was kind of automated, but it was like such a specific. They said, sorry, not sorry. Yeah, they said, sorry, not sorry. And they were like, I hope you guys enjoy this with your story girl's loft. And we were like, I was just so confused. I'm like, the Airbnb gods are watching over us. That also gave us an idea on like a series we could do with them. So we're working on it. Airbnb, work with us. We love you. You obviously love us. You sent us an Airbnb love package. Why am- No, I was spelling love. Okay. <laughs> this little tote, it looks like such a big tote. They even advertise it with a puppy. <laughs> Becky, you can carry your Danny up in this tote. Oh. Ooh, wait, that is like the fanciest tote ever. Sweet. Thanks Airbnb. I knew that Airbnb was sending me a gift as well, which was super exciting. So I assumed it was the identical thing to what Kelsey had gotten today. So I was like, okay, I'll get home and I know exactly what's in it. But I opened it and I was like looking at the box. And I'm like, these, these feel like different shaped than what Kelsey got. And I opened it and it's totally different. I guess I didn't even realize they personalized it to like who we are and what we like, um, which I guess is why Kelsey got a bunch of plant stuff. But I opened it and there's so many cute things. Okay, I wanna show you. So the first thing, like my favorite, is this like ceramic or tin, I'm not sure, pet food dish that has little puppies and kittens on it and the Airbnb logo and it's so adorable. And then also there's this mug that's like the speckled pattern but it's like a peach and a teal. That's so cute. A couple other cool things. This is a travel toiletry kit from uh, Aesop, like a shampoo, a conditioner, a body wash, but their stuff smells so good. Mm, this is the problem I have too, is travel side stuff is never that nice. This, this, I just want to use even when I'm not traveling. This really cute notebook. And then something 
lost and you even stole because you like it. This is a candle, but it's actual like a roll of beeswax that's been rolled up around a wick, which is so cool. We were saying that we remember this having these as like kids, this like actual real beeswax candle, which is so cool. Are you excited? You can eat them. You They're edible. They're edible candles. They're new. They just came out. <laughs> it's like for roll up? Yeah. I don't think you can eat it, can you? It's honey flavor. I'm gonna burn it. I'm not gonna eat it. <laughs> But anyway, thanks so much Airbnb. That is so exciting and like so precious and thoughtful of you guys and unexpected. Anyways, it's amazing. Okay, carry on with the vlog. Oh, uh, hello. We are here at Letitia's place. Hi. In her cute new bedroom. Hey. Yes. So she's getting some sweet decor pieces from us, but then she's also making it over on her own channel, so. Check out for that collab. We just had a neighbor come by and say we're making too much noise for hanging up all the things that we made. That's a nice way of putting it. <laughs> <laughs> she was less than pleasant, let's say that. Let's see she got a sweet room out of it, so what you gonna say? Yeah. <laughs> it's Thursday and the Beyond Meat Burger just came to A&W in Canada and like everyone and their mom is talking about it, so we decided to get group lunch and I'll try it. Bunch of us are veggie, one of us kind of eats everything. What are you, oh, wow. da Daniela? Are you anything? Are you? I mean, pets. <laughs> vegetarian. Okay, okay. I feel like I need to make so many beyond puns. Like, I was like, I came from beyond the grave with these lunches. <laughs> We're going above and beyond for lunch to infinity and beyond. <laughs> Hmm. I don't mm. know if I like it or not. <laughs> I don't it's too see. real. It tastes good, but it tastes real. It tastes like meat. Like, I never ate meat because I didn't like it, not because of necessarily moral reasons. Like, if they had a chicken one, I'd be good. Yeah, that no, does taste good. real. It's not dry, though, which is good. That's the worst mm. part of most veggie burgers, yeah. they're really dry. I had the Impossible Burger mm. in New York, and it was a lot better. It's Friday, and we're just hanging out in the office brainstorming some future DIYs and ideas and stuff. And somehow we got on the topic of hedgehogs. And I know some of you guys are probably fans from when we had Harley, our hedgehog. We actually just met up with somebody and they were like, oh, last time we spoke, like, your hedgehog video was blowing up and that was your most popular YouTube video. I'm like, it, it's, it still is, so <laughs> thanks. 24.5 million. And then I was, we were talking about our Harley e-cards. And we're like, have Who you, remembers those? Have you guys seen them? I have seen some of the Harley E cards. <laughs> I'm a horrible. No, no, no. No, no, it's no, fine. So I they are old. old. They're so old. They're very old. It's good you haven't seen them because now we get to show you right now. Yeah. Okay, this one's good actually. Oh, that's oh wait. Happy no. birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. <laughs> Have a cake. It's gluten free. It's gluten free. Happy birthday to you. Just wanted to wish you a happy holiday. <laughs> oh. Wanna be Easter Bunny? Say what? What? Sorry, your hairness. That's bad. <laughs> have a happy Easter. Yeah. This is so dumb. I can't. Remember that time we walked down that really long aisle? Did we had a wedding one? Because it was your parents' anniversary. And remember like, that time we you danced for the first time and you stepped on my foot? <laughs> I'm glad we can still remember these times. Happy anniversary. It's so stupid. Um. Quality content, right? That is so cute, yes. You're gonna now send these to everybody. Go check them out, guys. <laughs> Hey girl, hey, I got my Canon G7X back. I have been using this fancy guy, the EOS M50. Also a good camera. It's just a little bit bigger, a lot bigger. The autofocus is really good. I didn't find it as good in low light as the G7X, but yeah, camera game, switch up. Let me know if you guys notice if a difference or don't. Becky has always used the G7X and then I just had this one kind of temporarily. But the autofocus isn't as good on the G7X, which is sad. What else? Oh, we're also gonna go to, did I bring it? We're gonna go to Plato's Closet, which is like a um, consignment store, I guess you would call it. So I have some stuff. I wanted to bring this like earlier in the summer, but I just like hadn't gotten around to it. So it's like some summer clothes. Hopefully they'll like take something and see how much money we can make. It's never that much. It's like $5 and then I end up spending like $50 like while I'm there because you shop while they figure out how much your stuff is worth and then you're just like, why did I do this? Anyways, let's go. Doesn't it look like that dog is driving? <laughs> oh, hi. 
Hi, future Kelsey here. I wanted to tell you guys that I made $22.15 by selling like six pieces of my old clothing, but I forgot to record it in the vlog, so back to regularly scheduled programming. What is this? What is this? Gross. I hate when you go to like a new or different Ikea or Michaels or something and you're just like, where is everything? This is taking 10 times longer because uh, it's a new store. Hi there. I'm wondering where I can find the balsa wood. Ah, okay, thank you. Found all the wood. Wait, yes, this. Who's she? Hey guys, it's Saturday and today Austin and I are going to a celebration barbecue for a friend of ours that actually just got married down in Florida. So I'm just celebrating with all of her friends from Ontario and I think it's gonna be a really good time. I'm gonna see a lot of people that I used to go to school with so that's fun too. Also, this is my new favorite lipstick. It is Set Sail by Tarte and it's like the silkiest, balmiest, like nice color ever. But yes, we are leaving now to go to that. Is that your new shirt? Yeah, about it. it was on sale at Winners. Am I allowed to say Winners? <laughs> winners is today's sponsor. We are not brought to you by Winners. But that color is so nice. Wait, come back, come back. Come back. <laughs> oh yeah, that's nice. Lacoste. <laughs> it's a good color on you, I like it. Okay guys, we're going now. Okay! Have a nice day. <laughs> <laughs> It's a World Cup finals day and we're we're heading to a bar, Andrea and Angela and I. We're team Croatia today, although I I'm Argentina colors because I got countries mixed up, so I'm not wearing the right colors, but neither is anybody. Look, they don't even like promote it. Your facts on them, Andrea. Croatia is a beautiful country. It shares the Adriatic coast with Italy. <laughs> and they've never... Oh, soccer facts. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah the Game of Thrones so, is filmed there. Croatia's never made it this far to the finals ever, so regardless of what happens tonight, they've made history and we're proud of them. So excited right here. I didn't want to drink alcohol, but I want something cold because it's really hot in here. So I got a peppermint tea with a glass of ice. We're now down 4-1. Uh Uh-oh. What team are you guys actually cheering for? Germany. France. Yeah. <laughs> Do they have better players? Is that why? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Danny, this is the wrong sport. Where's your soccer ball? <laughs> Did they win? Big I'm bunch excited. of excited people here. Dan boy, what do you think about soccer? Yay, Yay. Danny! <laughs> you guys are so undramatic. <laughs> you sneaking ice cream? No. You sneaking ice cream? <laughs> mm. I forgot that freezies existed until like I saw someone posting about them the other day and I was like, oh my goodness, <laughs> freezies. So I went to the grocery store and bought a whole box of them and like I'm reliving my childhood so hard right now. The red flavor. Is the best, and if you want to challenge me on that, don't because it's the best flavor. What's the best flavor then? Peach. Grape. Grape, Grape is the worst. Is <laughs> the movie. What movie are we watching? Uh, Mercury Rising just came out with uh, Bruce Willis. Cute hair though. What do you have to say about the improvement I made to the remote, Austin? If you lose this now, then it's game over. It's like your phone wallet if you lose but that, it's game over. I think it's better though, because this remote's bigger so it doesn't really get lost. It's just Velcro, this is Velcro to this, so you can take it apart if you need to. I think it's brilliant. It's better than your, whatever it was, electrical tape and rope. <laughs> 